Hello all Supernatural fans. It's been a long time since I've done a video. Uh, it's not that I haven't been wanting to do a video, it's just that I've had a lot going on right now in my life. And uh, But today, um, something very special came in the mail to me. And as you can tell by what the camera is focused on, what it is. I have been for a long time, very very long time, been wanting to get the horseman's rings made. Uh, Death obviously being my favorite because Dean wore this ring but I also like Death as the character. Um, so I've always wanted a really really nice ring. Uh, when Warner Brothers came out with the rings I was kind of excited and you know they're only 25 bucks and I, you know I jumped right on it and when I got the ring you know, it looked like a gumball machine you know something that you get out the gumball machine for a quarter or 50 cents and although it was kind of nice to have like desk ring and stuff uh, it was just a one size didn't fit my finger and so obviously it's just been sitting in a drawer um, I have been very fortunate and blessed to come across many many people with many many talents and one of my friends uh, Richard is a jeweler and when we're going to go back a while uh, when we did the um, amulets that Dean gave Sam uh, or, or, or I'm sorry Sammy gave Dean um, because of certain connections and stuff uh, we got these amulets reproduced um, sold them and fans went crazy over them you're just not going to get anything closer to you know the actual object than what we produced so here a while back uh, Richard got a hold of me and he's like Ricky you know I really want to do something else and uh, what can we do and the little light above my head went off and I said you know I've been wanting to do the horseman's rings uh, first I want death's ring because I just really think death's ring is really cool and uh, I said I've got certain photos, I've got screen caps, uh, I can give you all the information you need on these rings. And so everything was sent to Richard, uh, like much like the amulets, and he started up on designing the ring. Today, being February 13th, 2017, it comes in the mail to me. And I'm the first one to get this ring, and uh, it's going to be available uh, for only 30 people. That's three zero. 30 people uh, that are going to get the chance to get this ring. And I want to talk to you a little bit about this ring. First off, uh, let me get my down in here. I don't know if you're going to see this or not because I'm going to try to catch stuff in the light. Do you see how that ring is shimmering? Uh, I'm hoping the camera is picking this up. But that ring shimmers just like when Dean put it on, uh, when Dean be took over for death. And what was used was a mother pearl uh, stone. And that's what's been done to this ring. It has a, a mother of pearl uh, stone put in it. The ring is made out of sterling silver. It's very thick, as you guys can see here. And then right there on the back side of that is a magnet. Okay, now the original idea to do this was when we put the ring down and you have wars ring and pestilence and famines, they would all stick together. Now Richard has informed me that the magnet on this is pretty weak, but if we can come up with a, a magnetic ring that's really powerful, that this would stick to it. So really being around computers and stuff like that, uh, I, guys, I just don't think there's there's enough in this to affect electronics, okay? Uh, but this ring, you are not, I repeat, you are not going to get anything closer to the hero ring. Now, you just notice I just said hero. Uh, the reason I say hero is because the show used different rings for different uh, scenes or uh, you know stunt rings and and stuff like that and so the hero ring was always really nice then they did some rings that the stone 
was just white plastic. It was more like a resin that was just painted uh, white. Uh, when the rings all came together, those were epoxy to the ring. Okay, so when you see the rings, when they put Wars ring out there and the rings all slide up and they stick to it, you know, they all come from all the the way. That that's Hollywood magic. That 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 ring would not have put off that much um, magnetic field to pull all those rings together. So that's Hollywood magic. Um, and so they were epoxied together. That made the ring to you know open the gates of hell. And uh, so what I am suggesting, and you guys can do this however you want. Uh, all the horseman's rings will be made. Uh, because they are so nice guys this thing I have not this is the first time I've had this taken off today uh, because they're so nice I would not and then they might stick together with the magnet and stuff that's right now that's hasn't been tested out we don't know if that's actually going to work but I am getting all the rings and they're going to be on display in my supernatural cabinet that I have with many many supernatural items um, and I will wear these rings when, you know, certain rings for different ways I feel, I guess. Um, however, death ring, like I said, is my favorite. I mean, you could wear this ring with a suit. You could, uh, I mean, it's just a gorgeous ring. And it kind of reminds me of a high school, uh, college fraternity ring. Uh, it just kind of has that a little bit. Of, but this thing is very heavy. I mean, this is a, this is a well, well manufactured piece here. Custom piece. Uh, this is not something flimsy. Whoop, let me. Uh, this is something that's not flimsy. It's going to bend. Uh, this is a quality, quality piece that will be with you for the rest of your life and something that you could actually hand down to family members throughout the generations. Um, I'm going to use the Warner Brother rings to epoxy together, and those will be kept in my. Uh, ashtray of my Impala and I was talking to Richard today when I called and thanked him for this ring and just told him how what I thought of it and um, you know every, you guys know that I'm super super anal and this ring cannot be done any better there's nothing like well we should have did this or that no this thing is 100% perfect and if I'm saying that Trust me, there will there is nobody that's a harder critic than me, and this thing is uh, fabulous. Uh, it's gorgeous. It's awesome. I, I mean, I just cannot praise this ring enough. So, with that being said, the Warner Brother rings will be epoxy together. They will be kept in my Impala. Um, and I was talking to Richard about this today because, unfortunately, there are people when shows are being done, comic cons. Uh, supernatural conventions and stuff I don't know why but people try to steal stuff out of the Impalas mainly the arming man uh, stuff out of the weapons box uh, we let people sit in the car and take photos and stuff and I always figured if something's going to be stolen if they're going to steal the rings let them let somebody steal the Warner Brother rings I mean I don't want them to be stolen but if something's going to come up uh, missing under my fire watch then uh, I'd rather it be the Warner Brother rings than this gorgeous ring. And I know the next three rings are going to be just as awesome as this one. And then we got Kane's ring coming up. And then we're going to do the skull ring from, remember, the Frankenstein family um, on the show and stuff. And they wore a special ring. We're going to, those were all going to be done. So... If you are wanting one of these rings, 30 rings, I guess 31, actually I think 32 is going to be made because uh, Richard is actually making himself one of these to wear. Uh, so there will be actually 32 rings made. Uh, so there's going to be 30 available for the fans. And uh, there's going to be a link to Richard's, uh, it's going to be his email address. It's also the same as his PayPal uh, address. And you can go ahead and prepay for this. And these are going to, I mean, they're, it's done. They're, you know, you just got to let him know your size, what size ring you need. Uh, I wear a size 10. This ring is a size 10, and it fits like a glove. So I'm going to say that the uh, measurements and, you know, the ring sizing is 
right on the money. So if you wear a 9, get a 9. If you need a 10, get a 10, uh, or whatever your size. These rings um, are $150 each and $10 for shipping, and that's priority mail. You're going to get your tracking number and all that. If you live outside the United States, um, you know, you live overseas, you're in Germany or uh, England or wherever you may be in the world, and you want one of these, email Richard, tell him where you live, give him your address, and he will get you an exact quote on the shipping. You're not going to pay for anything more. Um, it's just, you know, whatever it is is what it is, and he'll let you know. The ring, uh, I did want to say, originally we thought about doing the ring with the stone, have a choice of the mother of pearl or a white onyx. Uh, Richard said that he really could not find any white onyx stone, and then the other option was possibly just, you know, like a white piece of plastic stone. After this ring came out, he got it done. Um, he's like, we're just going to do all the rings in Mother of Pearl because they are so freaking gorgeous. Uh, it catches the light. And like I said, you know, you go back to that scene. I, I encourage you all to go back to the episode. And I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the episode, but where Dean becomes death and he slips the ring on. And you can just see the ring shimmer in the light. And I swear to God, this ring does that. Um, this thing is, oh man, I just can't get over it. And and when I get very excited about something, I almost become speechless on it. And, and those for, of you that actually know me, you know I talk a lot. And for me to become speechless, but I cannot give this ring enough praise. Now, you do not have to get the magnet in it. I went ahead and got the magnet in it. It's not hurting anything. And we might, you know, like I said, hopefully we can get something to make that all happen. Uh, I don't know. It's not costing anything extra or not to do the magnet. So I'd, I'd get the magnet, but it's up to you. Um, but there it is. There, that's Death's Ring uh, for $150 for a custom ring that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I, guys, I don't know how you can beat that price. I really, really don't. It just shines, uh, catches the light right. I mean, this thing, mm -mm -mm. like I said, the first time I've taken it off today, I have been so, so psyched about this. And then I should have brought the Warner Brothers ring and just done a side-by-side -side comparison. I mean, literally, it looks like you paid 50 cents out of a gumball machine for the other Warner Brothers ring. Uh, Warner Brothers rings are nice to me to glue together, make you a little prop for your car or your display or something. These rings, I would not do that because they're just gorgeous. And I mean, the other rings have not been yet made, but if the quality of this ring is makes me keep rambling on about it, then you know the other three rings are going to be the same way. So... There we go. Uh, follow the link below this, uh, it'll be which, which is Richard's email address, uh, and get your order placed because 30 rings, guys, that's it. Big three zero. Get it while you can because I have a feeling this is going to go really, really, really fast. I know there was a big, uh, when I did this on the Everything Supernatural page, um, there was a lot of requests for it. And Richard only wants to do 30 rings because he wants to get to the other rings. And um, I'm not sure what the turnaround rate on your size and stuff, but I'm going to say it's not that long. Richard's a hell of a guy, um, an artist. Uh, I mean, to come up with this off, you know, photographs that I've sent him of the ring, to come up with this is just unbelievable. I mean, seriously. I'm glad that I have had the privilege, the honor, to get to know people that can do things that just make me go, what the hell? You know, my friend Claudia, who does the bullet boxes, and she does uh, Dean's bracelet, and she does so many other things. She's, you know, she's one of those artists. Um, I've got my buddy Mark that does um, the holy oil jug and um, the tablets and stuff which are unfreaking real 
and then uh, my buddy Jason who does the first blade um, I mean I know talented talented people and they just they knock everything out of the park and trust me if you guys are wanting death ring you guys are just not going to find anything better than this I'm just telling you I'll, I'll put it up against anybody so there you go death ring get it while you can that's the only thing I can say I've got mine I'm I'm happy 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 cannot be more thrilled about this so um, get it while you can because I, I know people are gonna come along later oh, I just now saw this blah 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 you know sorry guys it, it is what it is so make it happen you know bank still borrow make a crossroad uh, deal whatever you gotta do if you want this ring in your size it actually fits uh, you'll want this ring I promise you I'm not gonna lie to you so there you go uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend uh, I'm hopefully gonna be I gotta do a show out in Portland Oregon um, this coming weekend so I think that makes it the 17th or whatever I'll be out in Portland I will be wearing this ring so if you guys do your order and you want to come out and see me I'll be with Ella uh, Super Dave's Impala that we did last summer um, we'll be at the Wizard World in Portland Oregon so if you want to come by to the booth say hi to me and you want to check out this ring I'm going to let you check it out. You're going to see it in person before you actually get it in your own hands and stuff. So uh, there you go. I hope to see you all soon. Uh, we'll be doing more videos here pretty soon. Basically, when I get back from uh, Portland, I'm going to get swinging back on cars. Uh, we've got a lot of Impalas stacking up, and we've we got a lot of work ahead of us. Um, I've got other projects working besides these rings. Uh, so just... Bear with me, and a uh, lot of lot of lot of cool stuff coming along. So there you guys go. Talk to you later. Be safe. Uh, love y'all, and uh, have a good one. Bye.